hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and thanks for staying tuned and for watching my previous videos this is your girl and kim your 247 online nurse and today we'll be discussing on free voluntary medical meal circumcision this is a topic which many patients ask me many questions about it and today i found it wise to just give you some information about it so this free voluntary medical meal circumcision it's just a surgical removal of foreskin and when we talk of foreskin this is a tissue covering the head of the penis and the procedure is usually done by a trained healthcare worker this is a very simple medical procedure that greatly reduces the chances of a man from acquiring HIV virus by 60%. So it's it's got its benefits and it's got its disadvantages to the man and also to the woman. So some of the benefits to the man, it's easier to clean the penile. And now that the foreskin has been removed, it will be very easy for this man to clean the penile. So there will be reduced chance of this man from getting sexually transmitted infections. And there is also going to be reduced chance of getting or contracting urinary tract infections, especially in childhood. There's also be a reduced chance of this man from getting uh, penile cancer. There is also going to be a reduced chance of this man from getting HIV virus by 60%. Something to note here is circumcision alone cannot be used like to cover you 100% from getting HIV virus. It has to be used in combination with other mechanism, for example, uh, consistent condom use and being faithful to an infected partner. And the third one is by knowing your HIV virus uh, status. Now, the other benefit to the man is um, there's a reduced uh, penile, there's a reduced um, penile problem for example when somebody is not circumcised it's usually difficult to retract uh, the foreskin uh, therefore leading to some inflammation and when somebody is circumcised uh, it's easier or there's no inflammation of uh, the foreskin or the head of the penis because already the foreskin has been removed so the benef some of the benefits too the woman is uh, they usually benefit indirectly in that there's a reduced uh, HIV virus infections among men in the population. So the chances of this woman getting the virus is a reduced cause. Also, the chances of this man uh, of getting the HIV virus is reduced. Then the occurrence of cervical cancer in uh, female partners of circumcised uh, male is reduced or it's lower as compared to the female partners of uncircumcised men sim simply because uh, the occurrence of human uh, human papilloma virus is reduced in circumcised men so therefore here women greatly benefit by reduced occurrence of cervical cancer so uh, another question that patients talk about, ask me about, is about how long will it take for me to heal after circumcision and what's the procedure of circumcision. So basically, as we said earlier, uh, circumcision or this voluntary uh, medical meal circumcision is a simple one. And it, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes. It involves uh, cleaning of the penile region, uh, the cutting of the foreskin, then the suturing. After the suturing, we put a bandage around the wound. Then we cover these patients with an antibiotics and painkillers for around seven days. Then the third day after circumcision, the patient will come back to the clinic for review. The healthcare worker will review the uh, will remove the dressing and review whether the wound is healing well, and then give a prescription to this patient for a drug called mupirazine. Mupirazine. Mupirazine cream is basically a combination of an antibiotics and antifungal where this patient is going to apply from the third day moving forward maybe until the seventh day it's just to cover the uh, the wound from any sort of infection 
then after the third day review by the healthcare worker the patient is supposed to come back on the seventh day for the final review to see whether the wound is healing properly then something to note here is we usually advise the uh, patients to abstain from all sorts or uh, all forms of sex including masturbation for at least six weeks for the wound to have completely healed and uh this uh the medical male circumcision obvious it's associated with some risk factors for example there could be pain uh, pain is occurring because the foreskin itself has got some uh, aid nerves or nerve aids and uh, when the foreskin is cut obviously the patient will feel pain and that's why previously we said we prescribe some painkillers to the patient at least to just reduce the pain uh, the other risk factor is swelling uh, with the swelling we advise our patient to put the pains after circumcision when it's facing up so at this time the patient would have worn maybe a tight panty or a tight boxer to just keep the penis facing upward as in to keep it in position uh, to avoid the tangling of the penis the tangling is the one that makes the penis to start swelling so the other some risk factor is bleeding there can also be some infections so and that's why we advise patients to just keep a high to maintain a high standard of uh, hygiene just to 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 keep away infections uh, the other sort of uh, risk factors associated with circumcision is the breakage of sutures. So here, as we said earlier, that uh, our patients, we advise our patients to just keep away from uh, all forms of sex. Because what happens for the suture breakage, uh, uh, when a man erects, so you'll find that the sutures will break away. So that's why we advise them to just stay away from any sexual form and for free for free voluntary me, uh, medical male circumcision it's usually free as the word suggests it's usually free for male who are above 15 years so we are talking of 15 years above and above the uh, uh, voluntary medical male circumcision is free so here in Nairobi, where can you get us? One, you can find me at Mama Lucy. So I'll be there waiting for you with my team. This is Bagadi Hospital and there is Biafra Medical Clinic. So for any question, for any concern, for any comment concerning this free voluntary medical meal circumcision, please don't hesitate to ask me right on my page and I will answer you. And if you're new here on this platform, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and see you on my next video